Picture Composition At the end of this lesson, you will be able to write several sentences on a given topic after looking at a picture related to it. Write a paragraph or story based on the observations of the given picture. Hi friends! Have you heard the quote, Every picture tells a story? That is exactly what we are going to learn. We are going to write stories looking at some pictures. Writing stories in this manner is a lot of fun. So, let's begin. Here's the first picture on which I'm going to write a few sentences. And here I have three pictures. I need to write a composition on these pictures. I can't wait to get started writing my story. Do you want to join me in learning how to write a picture composition? Come along! A picture composition involves writing sentences based on a given picture or set of pictures. A picture composition requires the writer to carefully observe the given picture and describe it in the form of a story or composition having meaningful sentences. Before we begin writing a composition, we need to carefully observe the picture. To make this easier, we can ask questions and note down the answers or observations to these questions. We need to arrange the observations as points in a logical order. These points will help us write meaningful sentences to form a composition. We also need to write a title to the composition based on the main theme of the picture. Begin the paragraph away from the margin. Now, let us begin writing sentences on the first picture in Zizi's book. We can see there are many elements in this picture. To understand the picture in detail, let us first prepare a question-answer list. What is happening in the picture? The children are celebrating a birthday party. Whose birthday party is it? It's Kyra's birthday party. Kyra is the name of a girl. How many candles are there on the cake? There are five candles on the cake. What is the magician doing? The magician is pulling out a rabbit from his hat. What is the clown doing? The clown is giving the balloons to the children. How many gifts are seen on the table? There are three gifts on the table. These questions and answers help us describe the picture in detail. Based on these points, we can now write a composition of around 7 to 8 sentences. Let us begin by giving a title to our composition. We can give it the title, Kyra's Birthday Party. Begin with the first sentence a little away from the margin. Kyra is celebrating her birthday. She is cutting a pink strawberry cake. There are five candles on the cake. Kyra's friends are seated next to her. They are watching a magician remove a rabbit from his hat. A clown is giving balloons to the children. 
there are three birthday gifts on the table. The children are having lots of fun at Kyra's birthday party. That was easy, wasn't it? We have written a composition based on various elements within one picture. Let us move on to learn how to write a story based on two or more pictures. There are three pictures given here. Zizi has to write a paragraph on these pictures. First, we need to find the common element amongst the three pictures. In the first picture, we can see a lovely beach with some coconut trees. In the second picture, we can see a boy building a sand castle on the beach. In the third picture, we can see a boy playing in the water on the beach. From these images, it is clear that the beach is the common element in all the three pictures. Look at the pictures given here. Let's note down a few questions that come to our mind after looking at the picture. Where is the setting located? The setting is a lovely beach. What do you see in the first picture? It is a sunny day. The beach has yellow sand. There are a few seashells in the sand. There are some coconut trees too. Who is the boy in the second picture? Can you find out what his name is? What is he doing? The boy is building a sand castle with the help of his beach toys. There is a bucket with his name written on it. The boy's name is Roy. What is Roy doing in the third picture? Is he having fun? Roy is playing in the water near the beach. He is having lots of fun. With the information that we have, let us write a paragraph like a story on the three pictures. Remember to write the composition or story in the past tense only. Again, we must begin with the main title of the composition. At the beach Roy went to play on the beach on a sunny day. It was a beautiful beach with yellow sand. There were a few seashells in the sand. There were some coconut trees on the beach too. Roy enjoyed playing in the sand. He built a beautiful sand castle with the help of his beach toys. He also splashed around in the cold sea water. Roy had a fun day at the beach. Oh, writing a picture composition is really simple and lots of fun. Friends, I hope you had fun too. Bye. Hey, thanks a lot for helping me out with the picture composition. My teacher loved the story. Let us revise all the points we have learnt in the lesson on picture composition. Picture composition is an exercise where you describe a picture by writing meaningful sentences on it. Thus, picture composition involves writing a few meaningful sentences or a paragraph on a given picture. It allows you to frame sentences and form stories on your own. Before you begin writing a composition, observe the picture carefully. Then you can ask questions and note down the answers or observations to these questions. Then arrange the observations as points in a logical order. These points help in writing meaningful sentences. The next step is to write a title to the composition based on the main theme of the picture. Always begin the paragraph 
away from the margin. There are two kinds of pictures on which a composition can be written. A single picture with many elements, many pictures having a common element. In case of a single picture with many elements, first understand the picture using a list of questions and answers. Then write the composition using this list. In case of many pictures with a common element, identify the common element amongst the given pictures. Based on this element, the picture composition can be written. Remember to write the composition in past tense only.